just finished filming a reel for Instagram, so go check it out. Let me know what you guys did think. I pretty much was talking about how and what my first pair of Jordans were. So real quick, nah, you thought I was gonna tell you. Sorry, you gotta go watch the reel to figure out where I got these and how I got these. I'll tell you, but you still gotta go over to Instagram and watch the reel and give a like to it. So this is a 2007 Jordan Aqua 8. My parents bought these for me when I was in eighth grade because I love this pair so much. Just the colorway. As I started to wear these a lot in 8th grade and throughout the years, 2015 they re-retroed and then I got the 2015 pair. Even though the purple on the midsole is a little more sparkly, I like this pair a lot more than the original 2007 pair because, I don't know, I like the black and gray contrast right here. But yeah, I mean, still both cool shoes. So I had to retire these because i just been wearing them so much. Like, the shoe's not even black anymore. I feel like it's starting to turn green. Not really green, but you know what I mean. Bars. I'm trying to be a content creator all over again. So obviously I have all these shoes that are behind me. Personally, I feel like each shoe has its own story, you know? Shoes are shoes, but a lot of the shoes in my collection, I feel like they have a story to each of them. I wanna go through and just talk about, like at least once or twice a week, just talk about a shoe, where it came from, why I like it, boom, post it as real. That's something that I wanna do more often since I have these shoes. This is like content for me to make right here. This is my second reel for shoe because I think the first one I did was the Grinches that you guys saw in the last video. But yeah, David Guy Kicks is coming back. This is the year. In these two bags, I have a bunch of brand new, a lot of used, a lot of vintage clothes <laughs> that I am going to be selling very soon. So a lot of this stuff is random because I used to do a bunch of pop-ups here in San Jose with like vintage clothes. This is one example. We have a Denver Broncos t-shirt. I don't know what year this is from, but it does seem like it's pretty old because of the material. It says thick. A full tracksuit of the FUBU and Puma collab. I also have matching shoes that I'll show you guys a little later that I'll be selling. I have a lot of Puma collab stuff here, and Supreme shirt, some soccer jerseys, vintage Ben and Jerry's all over print t-shirt. I have two of these. I think one of them is a small and one of them is a medium. I have an XL for my personal collection, but this one is tight and it's still in really good condition being from the 90s. So I have all this clothes, this full bag and this full bag right here. I'll probably give you guys a little bit more in depth of what I'm selling later on but this is just a little sneak peek but the reason I'm selling all this stuff is because I think it's time to just size it down a lot of this stuff is for my personal collection a lot of this stuff I just bought throughout the years to sell at different events I even have some more clothes that I need to go through so I can sell but let me show you probably my favorite piece from the collection that I'm selling this gem right here is from the Bape and Puma collab. This was my first Bape shark hoodie. On the front we have Puma with the Bape print and the Bape logo. We have the Puma logo with the Bape. This is an extra large, but since this is from Japan, this fits like an L, maybe a little bigger than an L because it's Japanese sizing. But I guess this is something that I really didn't want to sell. It's probably super rare to find a size XL and in this condition. I originally bought this off of Alex Sneakerhead in the Bay like four or five years ago. And I bought it off him for a pretty high price. And I just want to get rid of all this stuff. It's just taking up a lot of space right now. I have my own personal collection, but it's just time to part ways with some of these items. So sorry if this thumbnail is kind of clickbaity, but it's it's not really clickbait because it is time to part ways, but not in a serious way. It's time to part ways with my clothing and then some sneakers that I'm going to show you a little later. Literally getting rid of half of my sneaker collection and a bunch of old clothes that I don't wear anymore. I will have some more information where I will be selling all this stuff a little later on. Oh yeah, check out this G-Unit t-shirt that I bought. It's kind of crazy because G-Unit brand used to be my favorite. My dad used to buy me the clothes when I was in 6th, 7th grade, 8th grade, even in elementary school when it was really big. And then maybe like 5 years ago, I found all the clothes and I'm just like, oh, I'm never gonna wear that. I'm just gonna donate it. And then just a few months ago, I started looking back at all the t-shirts because I wanted to get some G-Unit again. And it turns out some of the clothes that I gave away went for a couple hundred dollars. But yeah, there's like over 50 pieces of clothing including hats. Like a lot of this stuff is just random items that I sourced throughout the years. Mitchell and Ness Chicago Bulls hat. I think we all had this in high school. I got these cool lunch boxes. I'll probably give these away. I don't even know why this is in the pile, but we got some Ikea bucket hats. <laughs> Did you know that they actually sell these at Ikea? These are $5 each. Someone originally told me that Ikea stole this design from someone who upscaled an Ikea shopping bag. I forgot about this bait piece too. So this one actually might be my favorite more than this Bape shark hoodie. So I have this Bape and Puma collab. This one is the tracksuit edition. I don't even remember the year that they dropped, but I'll have it here on the screen. 
When they dropped this collection, they dropped this piece as well, and it was a full tracksuit. I actually have the full tracksuit. I don't have the pants here with me, but the logo is still intact. After washing it, it's not coming off at all. You know how rare that is? The Puma logo right here is in 3M. This one is also in an XL, and all this stuff is 100% authentic. None of that fake stuff around here. But I will be selling this full tracksuit as well. The pants are exactly like this, and the pants are in a size large, I believe. But if you guys want, you can let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are interested in some of the clothes maybe in the next video i'll show you guys all of the pieces it's just a lot to go through right now so if you guys are serious comment down below and let me know i will do a full rundown video if you guys are interested my vlogging channel right here is hearing it firsthand that i will be selling all of this clothes i haven't even told anyone that i'm selling this stuff yet so that being said let me know in the comment section down below yo so real quick i just want to show you guys that i will be selling a bunch of these sneakers very soon some of my friends like johnny might have first dibs on these just because he's a big puma head but Santa Cruz Pumas, FUBU Pumas, man, these are all classic Pumas. These are like all the Diamond Supply Co. Pumas. Probably keeping these, keeping like 10% of all these shoes. So there's a bunch of shoes here and there's like 20 other pairs that I don't have shown right now. Keeping these for sure. Obviously, I just did a video for them. But there's a lot of gems here, like bait Pumas, still debating. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of these. I just don't wear them anymore. I haven't worn these in over two years and they're just sitting here. Look at these. Nike bowling shoes 1984 that's crazy who dude you're gonna be the flyest person out there hitting strikes hitting turkeys hitting literally everything the weekend pumas come on yo I think I might have just worn these once but these are clean the weekend puma collab I will never wear them again but those are dope I have a lot of customs here that I'll be keeping like this Nike Supreme Blazer, Tiffany Custom, that I did for a Tiffany Tuesday. Nike SB Dr. Feel Goods, I have the matching shirts, I'll be keeping those, because those are clean. Okay, so look at this. We have red original, you know, Puma suede, nothing crazy. We also have these red Puma suede. The ones on top are a little more bright than the ones on top. I also have just the normal laces, and the ones on the bottom have the fat laces. I don't need two pairs. I honestly don't even need one because I haven't worn them in so long. I'll be keeping these MCM Pumas. These are cool. I'll find a time to wear those. And I have a bunch of these Tiffany shoes. Obviously, Tiffany is my favorite color, but I don't need 10 Tiffany color shoes. So I'll be selling these Nike SB Blazers. These. I'm keeping these because these are like the original Tiffany colorway. Look at that. You even have the diamond on the tongue. I'm just showing you guys that I'll be selling a bunch of these very soon. Cortez, these Pumas I'll be selling. American flag, if you want to represent our country. These are not even wearable, but I'm going to keep these just for display. Nike Cortez, but they have like Aztec warrior masks on them. Or like Lucha masks. Not wearable. They're talking. And the thing is, I don't even know where I'm going to sell these yet. I could sell them on ebay separately i could sell them on like mercari and all those other apps or i could sell them on whatnot and if you guys haven't heard of whatnot this isn't sponsored by the way because i know you've been seeing like a lot like almost every single youtuber talk about whatnot and all this and it's so great and it's this amazing app but whatnot is this amazing app where you can whatnot is this app where you can see items in real time and you can bid on them in real time so let's say i'm having like a whatnot auction and it's live literally like i'm doing all this live so i'm like oh i'm selling these size 10 bidding starts at one dollar and if the shoe sells for two dollars the shoe is yours if it sells for ten dollars sells for a hundred dollars it's all yours so literally letting you guys the audience pay whatever you guys think it's worth it could be a good thing it could be a bad thing because i could have an expensive shoe and it could sell for like twenty dollars or i can have an expensive shoe and it could sell for two hundred dollars so that's the risk that i'm taking but the reason why i kind of want to sell on there is because it's quick it's quick i don't really have to worry about making all these separate posts all these separate listings like i know for sure it's going to sell whether it's going to sell for a dollar or a hundred dollars the items are going to sell and that's just super quick. I don't really have a set date yet when I'll post all this stuff or when I'll have a live stream. But I'll for sure, I'll let you guys know on here. I'll let you guys know on Instagram. Instagram will probably hear first just because I'm always on there. You can follow me at David Got Kicks. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here that I know maybe you guys will have use for. These original Calabasas Yeezys. But yeah, I'll also be doing some giveaways on there. And I'll for sure let you guys know. But if you guys want to sign up, I think I'm not even 100% sure. But I'll probably have it here on the screen that if you guys sign up, 
up with my account you guys probably get like 10 or 15 dollars off just depends and that's lit because if i am selling a shoe for 20 dollars and you guys buy it and you get 15 dollars back you're literally buying the shoe for five dollars so that's free money but yeah i already have an account on there i just don't know when i'm gonna start live streaming and selling stuff on there but i just feel like that's the best way just to move all of these shoes all of that clothes that I have and it'll be dope too it's like a new experience for me too so I'll be live streaming and I'll be talking with you guys everything will be kind of fast paced so we won't be able to like have a conversation but I think it'll be dope this is the heads up right here so if you guys want to sign up with whatnot now's the time make sure you guys follow me because I'll for sure be posting very soon and then of course I'll show you guys like a more of a rundown of the shoes that I'll be selling and the shoes that I'll be keeping I'll clean up the majority of the shoes too so you won't be getting just like a dirty sneaker except this one this one there's not much i could do about it the shoelaces are kind of busted because i dropped ketchup on them one time most of these shoes are going to be starting really low but yeah like i said make sure you guys follow me at david got kicks on instagram make sure you guys subscribe to me here make sure you guys are following me on whatnot and make sure you guys have your account created oh and real quick it's not 100 percent sure that i'm going to be selling on whatnot it's just an idea that i had i'm still debating whether i'm going to make separate listings or sell them on whatnot but i'm curious to know what you guys think if you guys have ever sold on whatnot let me know in the comment section down below as well i've never sold on there i've seen some auctions and how it goes but let me know in the comment section down below of course okay that's all but it is your boy david got kicks from david got vlogs thank you guys for supporting this channel thank you guys for supporting me and my business if you want to shop with me shop hypesarus.com link will be in the description down below yeah i'll talk to you guys later for the next video peace